want this time with you to be my last memory. What? What? Wait. Whoa. Whoa. What are you yes, asking? I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No. Uh-uh. Oh. Oh, no. I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. No. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting all teary-eyed. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, oh, my God. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Darlene, and we are delving into episode four of Life is Strange. Uh, in the last episode, towards the end, we found out, spoiler alert in case you didn't watch the last episode, that um, the choices we made to save Chloe's dad, uh, well, somehow got it to the point where Chloe was in, in a wheelchair, which was really strange because I couldn't figure out how that even happened between um, the time that they were 13 to now where um, Chloe and Max are 18. So hopefully we're gonna figure that out right now. I still don't understand how those whales got on the beach. That's considered beached whales. Episode 4, Dark Room. Or whales. It's all Max's fault. That's about as gruesome as it gets in this game, it's I hope. Weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, I wonder how that much. happened. Yeah. Tell me what happened. The worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Okay, who wants to take so pictures of beached whales? I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive Oh, wow. Here with you. That's what? I see five? You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much i don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me i can do that how did you I get in that parents. wheelchair my dad still feels guilty about buying me that car <gasps> oh is that it uh do i want to blame william no he seems too nice what do i want to do what do i want to do Blame William? No. Talk about accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? Yeah, let's talk. There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you Aww. remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Ouch. That would hurt. That was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I... Literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I would totally panic. I I don't know what to say. Don't don't say, say anything. 
<laughs> oh my god. Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Hmm. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. Wow. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is Oops. such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. Say what now? But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Poor Chloe. that because we saved her dad from dying and there's that lighthouse again back to Chloe's house Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Really? Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're How did you know? Sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Okay, that's and embarrassing. I would have issues with that. <laughs> but you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? Oh, first time I can actually move around and get something. Makeup, bathroom, no. Mouth control joystick, that's cool. Let's get our cup. Drink up, buttercup. Drink up, buttercup. Oh man. That's why Max is so cute sometimes. I I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? <laughs> podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but that would be fun. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, Aww. I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. 
I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. Are you so sure? I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. There's no such thing as a Can't dumb question. Pretty like a rock star, though. Or get in any teen trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Ouch. Your price That's a lot of money. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I- Oh, well, I love you too, Max. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Hmm, let's take a look at everything. Because I'm nosy. That must be her mighty morphine machine. Mighty morphine no machine. Oh, okay. Alright, let's see. What else can we look at? Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. What else? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. No, 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 no. How do I escape? Oops, sorry guys. Search. That's what I meant to do. But medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Really? That's how it works. There's the old Chloe. Wow, just that little bracelet. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That's pretty cool, actually. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stay Piss head. anymore. Saturday 26. Okay. <laughs> What's next? That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I can't look at that green notebook. Is that a notebook? I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. You might make her look like a clown. That would not be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Yep, they're awesome. So cool that you're here again. It's nice my parents sent a Did card. Did you say something, last. Chloe? I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. 
Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. XOXO, Megan. Who the hell is Megan? Are we going to find out later? I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. Yeah, right. I feel so lame writing shit like, I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. Okay, so her writing is almost as bad as mine. But at least I can read hers. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. Oh, that's a I'm cute sure that picture. Great. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. No. Oh. All your fault, Max. Seriously. Look what you did to your best friend. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, look, there's that deer globe that I was supposed to break in one of the other episodes. Well, I don't know if I was supposed to break it, but I saw that someone else broke it. And, um, in uh, one of the channels I follow, I think it was Jacksepticeye. Maybe he was talking about that. I don't know. I don't remember. Max is so oh, the snow dough. Oops, I kind of interrupted not Chloe. Hold on, I'm not done looking at stuff. Lots and lots of DVDs. DVD. Oh, that's what we were supposed to do? <laughs> Didn't know we were supposed to do that. I guess I'm not really paying attention now, am I? Wait, but I'm not done looking at everything. feeling that she's gonna fall asleep. What do you think? Is she gonna get a headache? Or is something bad gonna happen to Chloe? Hmm. Okay, morning time, I guess. Wow, that would be very uncomfortable sleeping like that. I'm surprised I haven't seen the parents yet. I fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. Can I start I looking at other kids. stuff now? We're just dorky kids, but dorky. I still say dorky. Like I'm a dork. Yes, I am. Running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you, pretty please, go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, Like right? a pirate! I'm on it, Chloe. Would you be mad if I started looking at other stuff? No. Hello, 
Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Aw, that sucks. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. Wow, that's she way better than any college. Lots of not lots of, but the other report card we saw. In the principal's office, I think it was. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Alright, I think we should get that morphine. Or maybe not. Despite everything, they're still a happy family. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Alright, let's go get that morphine. I'm so glad we had our movie night. Even if you crashed on me. That's why they call it a sleepover. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. All right, let's go. Victoria, what does Victoria want? Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Wow, that's like totally different from the Victoria from the past few episodes. Huh. Alright. They almost sound like BFFs here. Bonjour. That's great. Bonjour. They finally went to Paris. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. Hmm. I would love to go to Paris. One day. How wonderful. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HD TV, and they use her shitty tube television. Such nice parents. They're so sweet. Last time we were here, we were trying to hide um, William's keys, and that's what changed the whole outcome. That's why, um, that's why Chloe is in a wheelchair because I hid her dad's keys. This insurance is worthless. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. No. Oh. Is there anything we can do? Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, well, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> How Does anybody bother? like going I through bills? Seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Hmm. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? 
Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William? I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Is there any way to change this outcome? Or is it better to keep it this way? Huh. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yes, yeah. she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. Yes, yeah, she, she like needs those drugs. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Yeah, let me have some of those cookies. I love chocolate chip cookies. Choice is a food coupon boss. I try to use coupons, but I keep forgetting about them. I save them, and then when I actually need to use them, I forget that I have them. Great, right? Totally useful. I guess it's time to go upstairs. Or not. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Mm. Such bullshit. Sucks. Girl, you are looking at somebody's mail. That's an invasion of privacy. But hey, you're Max. Well, Chloe's room used to be here. And it looks like that's where I'm supposed to get those morphine supplies. What a trip. This room used to be so screwed up when Chloe was living there and previous episodes, but now it's like pretty much empty except for some random boxes. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Are you sure about that? Are there really any coincidences in this game? If you remember in one of the last episodes when we saw the height char, um, Chloe had a lot of swear words on here. Crossed out too. <laughs> I guess we stopped growing up together.
do I really want to sit on this stool? Is it really that necessary? Hey, how about we get up? We've got some morphine to look for. I never heard much about William's brother. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Well, it looks like he tried to help a little bit. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. But it's not- whoops. Really? They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. I wonder if she ever will walk again. Will there be a way to change that? To get her out of that wheelchair? Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Okay, I thought this is where we were supposed to get the morphine. Where do we go? Hmm. Hmm. It's dark in here. Come on, the light. Let there be light. Let's look at my pretty face. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. No, you still look 12 to me. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Well, she does need her drugs. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Nothing here. Well, we got what we wanted. I'm just cool. snooping around. Oh, he uses natural medicine too. All right, let's go back to Chloe. Insurance is worthless. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but. Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. <laughs> Can you even yell? Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, yes, yeah, adorable. I'll drop that. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. 
Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Oh, so we... Do we get to take pictures or something? No. Okay, that's the window. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. What do you mean? Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I well, it kinda is for you, Dude. Max. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just... Putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. How do you want it to end? What are you saying? What are you asking? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you. To be my last memory. What? What? Wait. Whoa. Whoa. What are you yes, asking? I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No. Uh uh. Oh. Oh no. I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh no. 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 I can't. No. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting all teary-eyed. Oh, okay, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, oh my god. Oh. Oh my gosh. I really don't know if I can do this. Oh my I god. had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her Ooh. life. How this is just a freaking game, and I'm all teary-eyed. Teary I mean, there's gotta be another way. Max, you were there for your friend. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. Wait, no, no, no. No, that's I different. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once. I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Oh, but I don't want to kill you. No, no. Me, I don't want to do that. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. Chloe, mm. I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Oh, did I do something wrong? Did I? Oh my gosh. It's probably the bad choice. Probably bad choice. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Oh, can I rewind? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh no, no, no. Oh. Bad thing, bad so thing. Much. Oh my god. That's so bad, that's so bad. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about oh, me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. See you around. Oh, I did it. I did it, I did it. Oh my gosh. kill William so I killed Chloe and now I'm gonna go back in time and and kill William oh no I don't know I don't know if I want to do that Okay, this is taking forever. Oh. Someday oh, that no. I'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope Not the this scene again. Mm. This is a keeper. Oh no. He's gonna die. Hello. Such a nice guy. Hey, honey. Oh my god, this is horrible. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college funds? Jesus. This sucks. This so freaking sucks. And no Chloe and No. Your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Oh, I think it's a selfish choice either way if you choose William or if you choose Chloe. Oh, damn, that sucks. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but... Come on. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. Oh, I've no. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best Your friends dad's forever. gonna die. When we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen. Whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. That always. Freaking sex. Oh, I did not like that. I did not like that. No, no, no. Oh. God, that. Oh. Oh, I didn't think a video game would make me this emotional. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, my God.
That sucks. That, that, that fucking sucks. What was that picture of? Even imagine the Whoa. burden. You're alive, yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. Um, you I can high. only imagine. Uh, thanks for the morning growth. Since um, we were up all night playing CSI or Katie Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. One must feel if Max, they could have that kind of. This? Power to go back in time and change things, and then to go back again to change it again, knowing the the outcomes. That would totally rip me apart. Oh my gosh. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. And I do have a gun. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful. Yeah, let's go get that paperwork. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on a partner. <sighs> that last scene, I though. I can't abuse this level of That memory. really freaking sucked. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I don't want to sit. That's my Chloe. I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. Poor William. I lost in all this shit. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. That sucked. I don't know if I want that kind of power. I got emotional over a game. This butterfly that, that really like hit me in the freaking feels. How much time have I altered since? A lot. All right. Will I find anything in here again? Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. 
Yeah, but what about William? William's dead. For a second time. Yeah, washing your face is not going to get rid of the guilt of killing William twice. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. Mm. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late. I kind of feel bad for David. You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. That seems kind of ominous. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Well, we've got the old Warren back. are like beached angels. What is going on here? Um You're the one that's causing things. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. J. Price. Wow. I can totally understand her anger. I don't want to sit. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Yeah, it's all your fault, Max. Really? What am I doing here? Oh, ew, ew! Oh, poor birds! Oh, what the hell? Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Oh. William never finished painting that wall. Well, he couldn't. He's dead. Another dead bird. Another dead bird. Ear bottles. Can't go in there. I can't go in there. I guess I'm gonna go to the garage. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Not really. I think you're helping yourself the most. Oh, that's kind of mean, huh? <laughs> I can't even go between these two couches, chairs, whatever. Why can't I just hop over? Ah! Make me go around? Seriously? It looks 
like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. All right, I'll start from the front of the garage. Why didn't he pick up all his shit? Still so much here. No, I don't want to go back yet. I haven't found anything. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Horn. What? Uh... <laughs> wow, I actually remembered some numbers. I'm not really good with numbers usually. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Yes. yes. Jackpot. What is this? Coordinates of who and for what? He took a photo of that fight? Hey, he took a photo of Max. Score. Back to Chloe now. Already? Well, what about the paperwork that we saw in the other episode? The one that we dropped on the floor? Oh, he took it. Crap. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Hmm. What map is this? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Well, if he is, then he should be making some good money, unless they're cheap asses. No laptop here. Seriously, David, you couldn't get rid of your beer bottle? And probably no TV either. That makes me sad. It was All so condensed down to, to one little box. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. Hmm, I didn't see that paper ball. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Let's read this. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me dot dot dot. He totally should have finished that letter. Hmm. Guns are still Either there. Chloe stole another gun. Oh wait. David is out there armed. <gasps> oh my goodness. He's not planning on killing anybody now, is he? What note is this? What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? 
Dun dun dun. So many questions. I wonder if David is going to the party. Why would he go to the party? He's not in the Vortex Club. What the hell? How come I wasn't invited? It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. All your fault. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Oh, suddenly Very you're happy. you're desperate to get back to your dorm? Jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Wow. She's on a mission. How is that truck even running? Looks like it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> what are they talking about? Hmm. I wanna know. Wait, who's that? Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Yo. Yo. Why isn't somebody as cool Yo. as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird being suspended and just walking around campus. Well, you are an adult now. This isn't prison, is it? Not well, kinda. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. Let me guess, like Victoria wins. Loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just he says he's old. What is he, in his 30s? Thanks, Mr. That's Jefferson. not old. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody uh, should whoa, have to see me whoa, dance. Whoa, are you like you don't want to watch the old hitting to keep on up the, the teacher? I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. <laughs> you are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right. Do we get to talk to a bunch of people now? Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Rachel owes me money. Pay a bitch. Okay. I don't think writing that on the tree is gonna make her want to. If she was even around. Hey Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Don't give up that easy. Just stay away from your sketchbook for a while. You need to keep taking the shot, as Mr. Jefferson says. Stay away from my sketchbook? You don't know me, Max. That's like you staying away from your camera. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Okay. Go cry in your little corner then. I was just trying to be nice. And... That picture, that guy looks like you. The hell?
Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. You're way too cool for us now, Chloe. You just went through me. Try going to Blackwell. Doo -doo -doo. I'm bothering you, see? Nope, I I totally feel like a ghost walking right through him. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. She had the sick nugs. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. Zacky Zacky! Oh, I can't even talk to you. You're totally ignoring me. What the heck? Come on, I'm like standing right here. Talk to me. Ugh, fine. That's so how about you? Will you talk to me? Right. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay. Jealous but, much? But right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. Wow. I saw okay. Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I, I can't get my limited brain around that. Limited brain. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Not saying Warren very nice things about yourself. To compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Mm, leave. I, I don't want to talk about talk her drone. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Oh, well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which me too. Me I agree. That I have to feed them. Food now. does calm me down. <laughs> that squirrel's so cute. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real, my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. Get that food in your Show belly. I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And He's so yeah. cute standing on his hind legs. We all need to look out for each other these days. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Photo! Chow down. They remind me of my hamster. Hello, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance for you. Cause I rock. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. They're 
must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried, like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. Girl, you you're changing your reality, we and you're changing the reality of everybody home? else with your time changing, power. But it's not mystic, it's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. I know a lot of things. What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Mm, Would you really I don't time? think you'd want to sign Not up for that. reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Okay, time that doesn't make like any sense. Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. We're not. He's a jerk. No way. I just have to uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. He's always angry. But to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? I'm sorry. But I'm all great. about making bad I decisions. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Okay, but where do I go? <gasps> My sweet Kate. Your sweet Kate? What? Wait, what now? Oh, great. Chloe stole money from the Handicap Access Fund. <sighs> We're going to hell. And you're gonna burn. Okay, I really don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh wait, maybe... Was I supposed to go back to the dorm? Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. He is good looking. I agree. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Okay, so what? This is the guy's room? Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Who needs I hear the music. Anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. I hear voices. Cat pics? They have one more meeting left. I'm a casual gamer. Can I join the club? Yeah, that sounds like Victoria. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana.
Hmm. Right? Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Kinda looks like it. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. It's mandatory. Sit and shit. Ray Glory Hole. <gasps> okay. If you don't know what a glory hole is, I am not going to be explaining that here. Even after Kate, and I has nobody art. here learned anything about bullying. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Yeah, that would be kind of fucked up. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bigfoot's Bro's got big got balls. And how would you know that? Maybe he has tiny balls. Just because Bigfoot's supposedly big does not mean he's got big balls. There's no evidence. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Wait, did I? Where's Nathan's room? This can only be Nathan's room. Okay, that means I can go in, right? Oh, you Bigfoots. All right, let's go. What if he's in there? You're breaking and entering. Oh, what the hell? Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or any- I really hope they were all consenting models. That is so Chloe. Oh my god. <gasps> Chloe. Oh. oh Chloe. Uh, are we taking this photo? We're taking this photo, right? Wait, why didn't we take the photo? Ah. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Hmm. I thought it would be something like um, those self-help type audios. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Does he? Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the yeah. guy has his own style. I don't think I'd want to take photos of dead birds. Just my preference. Like, I have... Two parakeets, two budgies. Uh, they're named. Um, they're named Sapphire and Sky. They're both male. I know they're gonna die eventually, but I don't think I'd want to do video or take photos of them dead. Not my thing. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Oh man, that 
dickhead stole one of my selfies. Okay, why does he have Max's selfie on the wall? It's kind of creepy. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Why is he stealing people's things? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... From somebody. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. That's an unhappy Nathan. Then again, he's usually unhappy anyways. I can rewind if he shows up, but I can't count on it. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Match marks. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Hmm. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Is he gonna now show I have up? Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but that monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Jealous Pastor. match? Then why don't you just take it? Oh, but she can't because there's no ability to. So I guess we better go. Exit there. Should I go there? No. Why won't it let me go? It says exit. Ah. You know, I should probably put that back, but it's not letting me. There you are. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. <gasps> oh my goodness. What are you doing in my dorm? <sighs> Oops. You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god, Nathan, you're awesome. You are so fucking dead. <gasps> Get off me, bro. <sighs> oh my goodness. stay out of it. Stop Warren. No, I'm not going to stop Warren because he's obviously mad. He wants to get revenge. I'm going to stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! <sighs> okay. 
Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be laughing, but wow. He's down. Hey, come on. Stop. <gasps> oh my god, wow. He's actually scared. He's actually scared. He probably got triggered and Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. Probably it, it reminded good, him of his dad. Scary. Oh, I don't know. This really hurts. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for him. But still, mm, I don't know. Should I have done that? Oh. I kind of feel sorry for him. Mm. All right, let's go. It probably is. No, oh, there's consequences. I don't know if I'm gonna regret that. Warren, thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. No, you didn't kind of go crazy. You went ape fucking shit. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? <laughs> no police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. Warren's so what sweet. You find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and he's the like the guy that you can take home to your parents. The around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, <laughs> you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I agree. He really did give us. He's totally time. into Max. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Hmm. Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Other than the beach whales, that's a very nice beach. It's been several years since I've been to the beach. Last time I went, um, me and my family were in California and we decided to go to, uh, what is it called, Santa Cruz. That's our favorite beach to go to when we're in California. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hate you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's but all. is Got Rachel it. even alive? Let's roll. Oh, I get to follow her. Okay, cool. There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. Yeah, because the newspaper said in, I think it was the first episode, that October 11th is when that crazy tornado is supposed to show up.
I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. That's way too many beached whales. No worries, sign. Yeah, there's no parking on the beach. There's too many whales. Aw, oh, poor little beach ball. Deflated. Just like how I feel sometimes. Wait, can I actually go down there? How do I go down there? It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Yeah, so can I go down there? How do I go down there? Can I jump off? See, in reality, people can go down this part of the beach. But I'm stuck. Or at least I think I'm stuck. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Yeah, just not on the beach. Take it somewhere else, like the dump. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Well, can you blame him? That's his bedroom window. Would you want people looking through the window at you? Well, actually, supposedly, and I think it was the first episode, um, if you had chosen to have uh, Max look out her bedroom window from the dorm, um, you would have seen Warren looking up at you. Twins. And it's Wonder Dick. Alone. She's my partner. Partner in crime. Yeah, we're body partner in time, too. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Up your ass and around the corner. I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. What a dick. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Well, actually, you did. Hmm. Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. 
This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. Yeah, it's just I've one of the dumbest of things dumb you've done. This week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try Probably not. not. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, right. you don't have time. You like dogs? Hmm. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Uh, Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Hmm. Come on, Frank. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. Aw, he does have a heart. At you, so I guess that's a good sign. That's a small list. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Aw, he is kind of nice. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Can I go down and check out the whales? Not that I actually would in real life, but... You know. How did you get all the way over there, Chloe? I didn't see you run away. What the hell? Why can't I just hop over this chain? Chloe, seriously, you run too fast. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. All right, let's check things out. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Oh, look at that. Frank is actually being nice. That's cool.
gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues Let's to select. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Oh, I think I know. The account book and... Us. Yes! The game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Okay. Select that. No, wait. Okay, let's try that again. Does Nathan show up here? No. Katie shows up. Shows up in this one. He doesn't show up on that one. No go on that one. And he shows up on this one. Oh yes! These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Placement of cameras? No, that's not gonna... That's not gonna help us. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Did that help or not? Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? The SIM card? Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. There's a lot of numbers in here. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel? If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe's... Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. Hmm. But those numbers might be useful. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Let's try that. Oh, okay. There was one more. Shoot. Let's look again. Okay. I selected the paper, the sim, the phone. I don't see anything that would be useful.
Maybe. Okay, Max. Wow. Let's blow this code up and go home. Hmm, that was a pretty wild I'm guess, so but hey. With me on this. Okay. He can't spell. Get ready to fucking die, bitches. You fuck up my dorm door. I kill you scholarship. Okay, let's look again. Maybe it's the other one. Maybe it's that one. Is it like that. Oh yes. Now we're okay. finally getting somewhere. All right. Chloe. That Let's took a while. Sorry about that. And see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Let's start hacking. Okay, unlock. Oh wait. Um. Let's try that one, one, one. That would be stupid Let's easy. Start hacking. You locked it, dumbass. Wait, what? Enter PUK. Eight seven. Eight eight seven eight oh eight. Okay, I'm not gonna remember that. I'm gonna use my phone and take a picture. Eight, seven, eight. I think that's a nine. Seven, eight, oh, eight. Oh yeah. Let's oh, find out what yeah. Prescott has been trying to hide. What up? Need the G. Okay. Cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down. Bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away. Pigs on the beach. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got to party tonight. Home. On the way. Load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call you to give you the exact directions. In transit. Get that money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit, what do you need? Peruvian flake. Skidoo? Acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Yes, don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now. Calm yourself. You tweaking? Soon. Hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Keep your smart now mouth shut about everything or I'm coming stalker. for your ass. I know where you sleep. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. You have plenty of time to ponder what a fuck-up loser you are? Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. 
Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Oof. That, that's gotta hurt. Take oh my god. Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. That's a lot of paper to examine. Okay. This sucks. Wait, what time was that? October 4th, 10, 34. 34, 11? Maybe that's it. Boom docks. I figured it out. Yes. This is definitely the place. Let me that take up here. Fucking forever. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron. Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. How do you know do it's you not infinite? Chloe? Yes, sir. That barn kind of reminds me of the barn that I saw in, what is that show called? Um, the Walking Dead. That was one of my favorite shows. Check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Well, aren't you a detective? No shit, Sherlock. Why would 
Because they're hiding something. It texts really fast. Watch us. I was trying to run, not rewind. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. It looks kind of suspicious. Are you sure about that? A bird. Aha! I found the entrance! Yay! I'm so smart. Chloe! I found the front door! Come on! What are we gonna find yes. in here? Rules. At least there's no zombies, right? God, this is way too rich. It's not that kind of video game. Yes, louder, please. We want everyone to know that we're here. This could put a lot of zombies. I can't be the only thing here. Even here we go. This tractor has paid its dues. And then some. Okay. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. There must be. What's in here? I guess the press cuts were just boring bastards. 1903, that's a little while ago. Okay, we already looked at that. Wow, so talk about home on the range. There's no way. No, we can't push the button. One. I like Friday the 13th movies. There's a Friday the 13th game that I want to try out on Steam. Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few movies. would make a great detective too. Can I get up there? Is this? 
That looks like a fallout shelter. No, Superbots. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. Sorry if you keep hearing me, um, sniffling. It's spring allergies. Fun, right? Chloe. Mm. That's kind of dangerous. Man, what if that fell on your head, Max? That looks dirty enough to stand on. All right, Maximilian, let's get up there. guess is I need to maybe toss that motor onto the padlock. Is there anything else over here? Oh, an owl. I love owls. <laughs> woo, woo. Hmm. Ah. Didn't go back far enough. You're strong, Max. Maximus Awesomeness. Well, that didn't so work that out. Didn't work at all. Rewind. Let's see. Aha. I'm so smart. All right. Let's pull. Heave ho. Heave ho. Not so much. Oh. Really? What happened? What was I supposed to do? Hmm. Hey Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, there you go. Yes. Maximus Awesomeness is super smart. All right. Chloe, Chloe, are you there? Where are you, Chloe? Okay, you're safe. Let's do this. Round two. No, but this motor will fall. Jackpot! Alright, what do we have over here? 
dead people. A bunker. Mm. Let's see. see a fallout shim a fallout shelter. This kind of place. Rich people? Let's check this place out. I hate codes. Okay, so a while back when we were in Nathan's dorm room, there was a piece of paper um, that had a number, I think, that was in red. I think it was circled also. And I believe it's 542. So let's check it out. Yeah. Oh, yes. I freaking I rock. Only worked in the movies. And it clearly works in video games too. Open oh sesame. yeah. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. Kind of creepy. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. What are we gonna find in here? Like. Frozen dead bodies? Now what the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Only it's, there's a whole lot more stuff. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same Can store. mushrooms. Never did like that. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Tuck tape in a bunker is mm. always a bad sign. I think about all those horror movies where the killer uses duct tape to tape his victim's mouths and their their wrists, ankles. I guess Damn. Nathan needs the most expensive. No, that's a printer. Keep searching, Chloe. I'm doing that. What the hell are you doing? Oh, that son of a bitch. Talk about tortured. Jesus, I already hate this place. This is not a very happy room. Let's see what's in here. That's Kate. Oh my god. No. What is going on between Nathan and his father? <gasps> oh, those are the names of so many girls, including Kate. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Those Binders. We saw those in okay. the other episode. Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. Oh, God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. 
Okay, this is the serial killer's dead. lair. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Mm, Please. Let's I have go. a feeling. I have a feeling that we're gonna find Rachel dead in the ground. Mm. Oh my God. This picture is framed different. Rachel is. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she at least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. You sure she wasn't... Well, no, she wasn't dead in that photo. Okay, I know that Chloe's looking for her friend, but I want to look at stuff. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. You have now. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody likes their whiskey. <sighs> hey, this game has gone a little bit dark. So who's using this fancy tripod? And I'm not talking about the color. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Oops, no, 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 no. I did not mean to do that. I don't think this is gonna end well. I think I think that they're gonna find her in the ground dead. I mean they were already at the junkyard. In one of the previous episodes, the one where they um were talking to Frank. Holy, slow down. Yeah, it, this is not gonna end well. Oh. Look, this is it. This is it. Okay. Mm. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Mm. What is that? Get to see? No. Hmm. Chloe. He's dead. Rachel, I'm sorry, Chloe. I think I'm so sorry. if I were Chloe right now, I I'd be screaming, so crying, How pounding the ground. Dead? What kind of world does this? Oh my goodness. I would call 911. Um, did I say 911? <laughs> um, at that point, I would call 911 and make an anonymous phone call about. Hey, look, there's a deer. I would make an anonymous phone call to the police and. 
tell them what I found and I would leave them a tip about that bunker under the barn. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck yeah, the police. Yeah, lots of proof. Wanted us to fight. So we could get real justice and revenge. Okay, how real are you gonna get right now? For a hundred years, and nobody is gonna, gonna get in shoot my way. him. Especially with. I know you got a gun. Right. I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. I knew it. You brought that gun. About to get real. Oh, shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? It can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Drunk? Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on You me. think he looks good drunk? And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. Yeah, Maximilian, I know let's this go. Is a bad time, but can I get one picture? Well, hurry up. I've been feeling like We've this might be actually plans. the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey. We still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. Yeah, I he's know dangerous. How to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Are you okay? 
Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Let's party. Oh yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's do this. Man, I could totally dive into that pool right now. I'm so hot. <laughs> I wish I could turn on the fan. But it'd be like total staticky. Audio would be horrible. <laughs> All right. We need to find Nathan and take him down. Oh, Brooke. Let's talk to her. Brookie Brooke. I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. And you're here? Why are you here? So, why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Oh, enough! Salty much? I, I am sorry Warren asked me to remove him. You don't need to give me an attitude. I like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. No, I think it's made it worse. Great bullshit. I don't know. It would be pretty kick-ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia. Mm. Well, night is still young. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. A drone date? What the hell is that? We get to play with your drone? Is that what you mean? Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. Hmm. I wonder why. Hi, Luke. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh, wait, I did see Nathan today, nursing a busted face. <laughs> I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. That's true. Yes, give it up he went apeshit. to do when the Prescott's own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code? VIP section? Elitist bullshit. Preach it, brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, Dress code? Like what? No, Bikinis? Swim shorts? That's a uh, dress code? Hmm. No one seems to know what Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Wow, okay. Bigfoot on otter action. Well, okay. Hmm. There's a term for that, but I'm not gonna say that here. <laughs> Seriously, Alyssa, you've got the worst luck ever. Of course, my 
Dr. Gainesville has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mr. Clark. I do my best. Yes. It's because of your hair. Your hair's awesome. I wish I had time to hear it. Promise you'll tell me if the next time we meet. That sounded ominous, but I promise. Be careful out there, Max. You should be careful yourself. Hmm. Who is that? Look? No. Seriously, dude? <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. What, nice bitch? Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Courtney, huh? I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Yes, you do so. All right. Sick now. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Want to get ripped? Uh, you look pretty no. ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? True. Besides, Dana is here, just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. How do we get in? That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You right. might be right. So Seriously. Stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. What's intense your anyways? Voice I just sounds different. That's okay? intense, right? How about a quick dab? Uh no, I'm I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. You're clear. Oh, God, my stomach. Hmm. That's lovely. I'm never leaving this toilet. That is lovely. This is my last Vortex Club party. Yes, you've been vomiting for like an hour. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. If you don't wrap it up, we're coming in. Gross. How did this even get here? Good night, sweet prince. Okay. I don't think there's anything here that's going to help us. Let's bail. All right, let's go talk to Courtney. How 
are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be like, alone. What do I you want? So I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. Wow, Miss Bitch. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. All right, how do we do this? Um, how is that chair there? How's it floating? Oh wait, that's not a, just a chair. That's that lifeguard chair, I think. I'm so not impressed by this VIP. Seriously, how do I get in? Get Alyssa. in there. Watch out for yourself. Why? When I have Max Caulfield at my side. Good luck. Seriously, how do I get in? Alright. No. Really? How do I get in? Move people, get out of my freaking way. Really? I don't know how to get in. A shitty party be without glow sticks. Hmm. Really? How do I get in? God, are you mental? You can't come in. Okay, how do I get in? All right. What am I missing? Dude, seriously, you're in my freaking way. Huh. What's it? What? Push. Man, Maximus, you are freaking... Strong? Everywhere you go, Max, you cause trouble. Damn, I missed something. Yeah, I better rewind. Hmm. 
Hmm. Access. Nice. Jackpot. Oh, yeah. So his ass has to be here tonight. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the vortex. That would be cool. Have you seen the movie Carrie? Actually, I've seen the classic version. Not the, the newest one. Zacky Wacky. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on you. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge pain or something. You dance worse than my dad. Yes, but can you do the moves. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. He's so nice. I was my outfit. I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. Trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. Aww. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Preston? Hmm. Uh, rich and rich and a dickhead. A rich dickhead. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like they're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. Word. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? I think my photo is very powerful. Victoria, your picture... Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me and everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but... Nobody at that party even cares she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? To not be a bitch. You're the one who got suspended, Max. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. Do you now? So I'm not the only problem child here. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. Really? Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. <sighs> well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons we think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your 
life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unsafe. Yeah, just a little. He did drugs. He's a freaking serial killer. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserve it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people I've lost. They what now? But you just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from me. And stick close to your friends too, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. All right, where is Nathan? Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. I'm glad I warned her. Oh my god, Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. Well, bitchy this much? Area, so you should get back to the Keep on dancing for Victoria, Taylor. And stay away from Nathan. Dancing for Victoria? Like, for your concern. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you? What's up, Hayden? Oh, hey, Max. I didn't think you'd actually come to that. Well, I didn't think anybody would want to party after Kate Marsh killed herself. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some... Dang, OG buds, oh, I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No thanks. Come on, God. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You lose a high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. I have been. You could sit down and take a quick hit. Dude, seriously. Hayden, <sighs> does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? The Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? The Prescott family is literally making me dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. Hmm. I think that's your job, I don't Max. think... Come back when you're ready. I don't think Nathan's gonna be going after Hayden. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Okay. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? Mm -hmm. You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, What's he uh, doing here? I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. But I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the uh 
the whole Kate I doubt it. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Is anyone really going to be listening to him when he makes that announcement? Okay, okay everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's just announce who the winner is. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. Right. The envelope, please. Drum and roll, please. Oh my, what a shock. Oh, shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Are you telling the truth? Thank you. Really? Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Okay. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Hmm. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to go to junkyard in the dark. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Max, please hurry! Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh. 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh. What the hell? Holy shit. What the fuck? That was the teacher. He drugged Max and then he went and shot Chloe right in the head. Execution style? Holy f fuck, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was Nathan. Or even his dad. But really? Oh my god. This is some dark shit. I don't even know how to process that. It was really him all along? Oh my god, really? Oh, okay. Alright. We're ending it here. Um, that was crazy. Um, that episode took me in all kinds of different directions and this, when I thought I knew who the killer was, I was totally wrong. That was some intense shit. I hope you liked this video. I enjoyed playing this game. Next video, we're gonna do the next and final episode of Life is Strange. Drop me a like if you liked this video, and see you next time. Bye!